Murphy. Wow. Look at this, man. Enbridge, pipeline number five. Comes right through here. That's the one they're worried about uh, breaking and uh, ruining the Mackinac Straits. I mean, this is out in the middle of nowhere. So these must have been dug forever ago. This is where they've done all this clear cutting. Come on, on, let's party. Wow, boy, you got a lot of energy, huh? Wow. Wow. Jeez. You feeling good, hon? You feeling good? Dusty on. Wow, hon. Still like it back here, though. Come on, on. Wow. You're going swimming for sure tonight. I talked to Tassie today for uh, about 10 minutes. Living up in Farmington Hills. Good spirits as always. So she didn't move to Tennessee. Still got her same hamburger job. Tassie's as straight as they come. I love how just the randomness, so I guess that's why I like doing the time-lapse videos, just the randomness of nature. Just like how, like here, seeds, wind blows them, all this stuff just grows randomly. It's not some perfectly manicured, landscaped mess. I never realized those Embridge uh, lines were this far north of town. I know they cut down through the airport. And there's a place over near the runway where it doesn't freeze in the winter because of the friction of the oil.
all these birds just hanging out. See, that's what I like about doing these time lapse. So I'm out here doing this, and the time lapse is going recording. I didn't still didn't get my battery thing for my uh, metal detector. I hope I get it tomorrow. These trees are all full now. You know, I did when I came out of here. Was it yesterday? I was out here. I did have a deer run in front of me, which I've I haven't seen a handful of deer in ten years out here. I think part of it may be a water supply. You know, there still is some good timber in here, though. Hardwoods. Good ones. So I hope they don't mow this down. And I won't be able to come back on this stretch this fall. Never used to drive back this far. I don't know if I'll be doing it in the winter, but in the fall I sure will be. You know, I've come back here before, not right here, but close by here with my metal detector. And I found all sorts of pennies and bullets, belt buckles. Nothing great, though. Of course, I'm not really looking for anything great. I'm just looking to get lucky on something interesting. See, Penny, look at all these rocks. I told somebody the other day to come out here. A lot of these rocks, field stones. That's what this is called. A lot of beautiful, interesting color combinations, shapes. Took a long year for a long time for those to form. Now, Native Americans were all over around here, so you could find other things. Although, compared to other states, I don't talk to too many. I never talked to a farmer that found uh, arrowheads in this field. I'm sure they're up here somewhere, but not like they are in other places. Look at this big monster boulder. Oh man, look at all these trees I cut down over here too. Look at this monster boulder. Cool looking, isn't it? Look at more damn tree cutting down. Good girl, huh? Good girl, honey. See a lot of nice hardwoods in here. right there <coughs> excuse me all over here actually 
I mean, you know, there is a science behind clear cutting and harvesting timber. And one issue that is critical is that you don't want it to age, get too mature, the wood gets brittle, it's more susceptible to fires. And maybe that's why they did this. Because uh, if you go by anywhere up here now, you'll see the fire danger is very high, very dry. Uh, I tried contacting them, but nobody ever answers the floor anymore. Look at that cool rock. This is how a lot of deer hunters hunt. They get up on a ridge like this and they just sit and they wait. This is quite a big area right now. That's probably a half mile. Now they're piling this stuff up like they're gonna burn it, but no sign of that so far, although this area looks a lot more cleaned up. See all these cool rocks. Not as many birds over here. This little oak tree. See all these cool rocks though? Whenever they have a lot of big equipment around. They tear up the ground and it really unearths a lot of things. Look at that piece right there. There's a nice tree right there too. That's a big one. I mean, this is an old, mature forest. See, you know, that's old logging a long time ago. You'd be surprised how fast this stuff grows back. I mean, you're not going to get any, you know, 75 foot tall walnut trees yeah, soon.
See, look at all these rocks. Well, have a good weekend, you guys.